need to find the area is the base and the height. Okay, well the base of this triangle is 10, so that's pretty easy. We're just gonna plug a 10 in here. Now, do we know the height? Height is always from the apex, which is the top vertex, down perpendicular to the opposite side. So I've drawn in an altitude here to be the height. We don't know that length. Hmm, how can we figure it out? Well, we know in an equilateral triangle, all three angles measure 60 degrees. When I draw this altitude in, it breaks this 60 degree angle in half and makes it 30. Now you might recognize it. We have a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. Okay, we need to know which side. Well, this is my short leg over here and this is my long leg. So the height is my long leg. Okay, well, I need to know the short leg first. We know a couple pieces of information. We know the hypotenuse of the 30, 60, 90, or you can say, okay, this side is 10. If I draw the altitude in, what does it do to that side of 10? It smack dab cuts it in half. So that means this side is five and this side is five. And lo and behold, yes, that's half of the hypotenuse. So the short leg is five. And then to go from short leg to long leg, we multiply by a factor of square root three. So that means our long leg is five square root three and the long leg here in this case is the altitude, okay, or the height. So let's plug in five square root three. Now let's multiply this together. One half of 10 is five and five times five is 25. So it's 25 square root three. And area is always units squared. So there you go. That's how you would find the area given those sides.